I have been living in India for a long time and so I wanted to do a project on India because as you know there are a lot of environmental issues here. My project is about the massive air pollution that had impacted India after independence. The thing about this problem is that it had crushed down the aspirations of more than half of the population and had made India rank the worst in terms of air quality. Air pollution is a thing that had always been present in India. So what's special about this time? The thing about this time is that it had raised a lot of in health issues and had become one of the most important problems in the world. So, after independence in 1947, India was forming its own constitution and government. The new government imposed some laws specific to air pollution, such as the Air Act in 1981, inspired by the decisions of the Stockholm Conference, but unbelievably, improvements were hardly seen till 1990. But the irony here is that till this date, the government was not serious about their actions and the laws were merely a paperwork formality for them. Consequently, emissions increased, water conditions worsened, and forest cover decreased. But what was the cause behind air contamination? It was definitely the growing population. Population in India had almost doubled during this time. The rapid growth in population caused its growth in demands and needs of the people. India is the largest consumer of fuel wood, agricultural waste, or biomass for energy production today. But guess what happens after that? Everything that is burnt down releases carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, causing air contamination. The carbon dioxide is usually cut down by the plants, but increasing deforestation has been causing problems even more. Carbon dioxide has been being a greenhouse gas contributes to global warming. The depletion of the ozone has continued to cause various skin problems. Poor air quality was a major cause behind various breathing problems such as asthma or bronchitis. After a lot of time, finally in 1990, the government of India started realizing and serious actions were taken by different authorities like the government, politicians or other such organizations. Alternatives for different actions were started being adopted and air quality had improved to a much greater extent by 2005. But still, this growth is not satisfactory. The government should continue to use some better alternatives for these problems which don't seem to but are still a part of the present society. Specifically, for activities which have always caused air pollution and contributed for degradation of air quality earlier and still continue. The most important cause of air pollution is burning of fossil fuels for energy production. There are plenty of water bodies in the country which could be used as an alternative for this issue by producing hydroelectric energy. The government should restrict cars to only use fuels which could produce lesser emissions and could make it compulsory for people to get their cars regularly checked. There should be arrangements for raising public awareness against issues like this and also for other such issues. Though there is overall development since the past one decade, the country needs more to attain a sustainable life standard for its people. The various organizations that work for improving air quality should try and produce more energy through other sources which could prevent air pollution and an air filter could be installed in various places to keep the air quality good at all times. But the greatest move of all would be if every individual would make a step forward to it. There is a need for a move by every individual so that air pollution can be reduced in India.